Hi everyone, it's Vicky here from Crafty Heaven. Thank you very much for joining me today. And today I have this envelope flip book that I want to share with you that I've made. I've also got a tutorial in this video. I haven't decorated it or added paper to it in this video. I just wanted to show you the main construction of how to, you know, assemble the book. So, this is the book that I have made and this is for a swap that I'm in and the tutorial I followed was Amanda over at Scrimpy Mummy here on YouTube and the envelopes she had used were Stampin' Up! ones which are a lot thicker and she um, attached her envelopes together with washi tape so I've used thin envelopes that I got from Wilkinson's so I didn't want to use washi tape because I thought that it wouldn't be strong enough to keep all together so I've actually made like hinges out of cardstock and it seems to be working perfectly fine but if you have envelopes that are a lot more thicker and stronger then you could use washi tape I leave the link in the video description bar of Amanda's video if you want to go and check that out so to decorate my envelope flip book I've used apart from this frame here and the ribbon everything else is from Artie Mays here on Etsy and she's also here on YouTube and in her Etsy store she has a section of freebies where you can download free digital um, you know images and papers and print them off and use them on your projects so everything I've used on here is from that freebie section they are you know different papers and embellishments from kits that she sells in her store so none of it matches but I think it, it's turned out really nice and because it's all vintage and shabby chic I think it actually all goes very nicely together so this is what it looks like on the front so we have this frame here that I got in a swap and I've added this book belongs to label on the front so I could put the person's name on there then to keep it closed I actually got this fabric from Poundland and it was white and I've dyed it with my Victorian velvet distress ink so this is what it looks like on the back and as you can see I've added a handmade by myself label on the back and I've added a beautiful butterfly on there so my envelopes are white so I've distressed the edges with my vintage photo ink then the next layer of card is craft cardstock and then I've got my paper on top so let's open up and I'll show you what my book looks like so my label is attached to my ribbon so you can see it's made out of envelopes because I've left this flap on here so this is the first bit here I've just all I've done is just done some decoration here so I've done fussy cutting here with some beautiful flowers and added this gorgeous bird here so it pulls down like this and then they open up like that so on the flap here I've just added a, another butterfly and don't this papers and embellishments look gorgeous together and like I said it's not all meant to be together because they're all from different kits but I think it's all worked out perfectly and I'm so chuffed with this so as you can see we've got four pockets and in each pocket we have a journaling card and each journaling card is a postcard with a vintage lady on there and then on the back the lady who I swap with could add a photo on there and just look how beautiful these postcards are so then I've got this beautiful paper here again more fussy cutting on the side and I've just distressed everything with my vintage photo ink Then we come to the middle and I've got this label and I've just added a beautiful sentiment here. Again, another pull out photo mat and a postcard. So they could add a photo to the back. You could also add tags in these pockets as well. 
but I haven't on you know in the main pockets anyway so here I've just done some more footer cutting with the flowers and the butterfly and we've got this postcard here and then on the bottom again more fussy cutting and we have this beautiful bird and then I got this to a special friend sentiment in a swap and I just coloured that with Victorian velvet ink and another postcard in there so these um, fold over so in this one here I have made a pocket and look how beautiful this lady is here. I've added some more flowers here so I've done more fussy cutting and I'm absolutely loving fussy cutting especially now I've got the proper scissors to do it. So I've just put some of these tags in there and they just slot in there like so took that behind her hat I absolutely love this this one is my favorite and then we fold this one over again I have another pocket here cards so we've got this one here some more tickets and a bus ticket that I got a big huge roll from Grace's place so they're just tucked in there like that and then this folds up folds back over and then it just ties up at the top so that is my envelope flip book and let's get on and show you the main construction on how to put this together so to make this project you will need four envelopes and you could use whatever size envelopes you want I'm using these ones here and I think these are C5 these were from Wilkinson's so they were very cheap so they're very thin as well but once you lay a card and paper on top it will make it quite sturdy. So we're going to lay our envelopes down so you just lay the first one down and then we're going to lay two either side like that and then one on the bottom and on Amanda's video she fastened these with washi tape but I'm going to do mine slightly different um, because my envelopes are quite thin I think she'd use stamping up envelopes which were thicker and because mine are quite thin I want to make sure that my hinges that are going to open and close them you know keep it all sturdy and together so you could use washi tape or whatever you want okay so you will also need two hinges and these are just cardstock and they measure one inch by three and a half and you want to fold them in half okay and that will be your hinge and they're going to join up here and here but what I did was, is I added them to the back, well, what would be the front of the envelopes, okay? So then when you see the outside, you will see this folded edge. And I just thought that looked quite nice on my project. So first of all, before we start assembling, we need to do some scoring to two envelopes. So the ones that we're going to score is the one that would be in the middle and the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to score a quarter of an inch gusset to um, give us the room to be able to embellish your flip book. Okay, because obviously if you didn't it would have to just your book would have to just have flat embellishments otherwise your book will start to bulk does that make sense so what we're going to do is we're going to line up this flap anywhere in your scoreboard and I'm just lining up this score line here at six inches and I'm going to come across and score a quarter of an inch okay and I'm going to do it this side and score a quarter of an inch gusset okay so then when you fold that over 
it will look like that. And then all you want to simply do is, this bit is optional, but you can, for one of the envelopes, you can cut off the excess. This one, I actually left the whole flap on there. So again, I'm going to line that score line up score a quarter of an inch fold and then I've left this flap as it is so now that's the scoring done I'm hoping that made sense we're now going to start assembling it so this one here is the middle then we have the two envelopes that we've not scored either side and then we have this one that's going to go on the bottom so first of all we're going to attach these two together and we're going to add glue down just this section here and I'm going to line up this edge with this score line that we made and you also want to make sure that your envelopes line up here and here. I'm using liquid glue, so if I make a mistake, then I have a bit of time to move it. So I just fold it over to make sure that my envelope lines up, and then just press that down. So that's that done. Now we want to attach these to this side here. So for that, you're going to get your hinges, and... You're going to add glue to one side and obviously you'll do a better job than I am. I'm just quickly doing this to show you. So you want to just go behind the envelope, line it up, this edge of the envelope with that score line in the middle and oh, press that down. Okay. You could use double sided tape if you wish. And then you want to add glue to the other side and line up this one here. Again, making sure that your envelopes are all level with each other and press that down. And that's that side. And then you'll do exactly the same. Again, add glue here behind there and then stick that one on top. So I'm going to do that one and then I'll be back. And that now, so as you can see, it's all attached together. So they would fold over like that. Then this would fold up. And if you can see here, you've got that, with having that gusset there, you've got room to do a bit of embellishing. So can you see? And then finally, what you want to do is we're going to open it back up. I mean, you could do this bit before you assemble it, but I actually forgot, but it's not a problem if you don't. All we're going to do is just simply add glue to this flap and then we're going to tuck it in to our envelope and stick that down. And what that does is it just gives a nice finish. So if I tuck this in, I'll show you what I mean. So press that down. So you can see it gives you a nice finish on the top there. If you had cut it off, then you'd have that rough edge where you've cut it okay so it just makes it more neater again do the same here add your glue like I said you will take more time to do this tuck it into your envelope and this is where I would definitely recommend liquid glue because double sided tape will just stick to anything straight away. That is the main construction of your envelope flip book and you could just add journaling cards into these pockets here and have photos on the back. You could also add extra pockets on top of the envelopes and insert tags. You know, the possibilities are endless. You could do so much to this. So it just folds up like that and like that and then you can add ribbon to it or magnets to keep it closed so there we go and then you just add your paper and embellish away and do whatever 
um, but that is the main construction of how to assemble your envelope flip book. so there we go guys that's how you make the envelope flip book so easy and the possibilities are endless on how you want to decorate it as you can see I've gone quite shabby chic um, and I think this is absolutely beautiful and I'm well chuffed with the finished result so guys I hope you enjoyed this project share and quick tutorial as always please give this video a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and I will see you